I've been playing piano since the age of five. That's me in a mink hat and a manicure. It's my first piano. I never thought that I would ever get a chance to record. Life brought me through a wonderful series of miracles, a bunch of sharp left turns from where I thought I was going to be to the world of recorded music. The first thing I ever recorded was an audiophile direct to disc album for a wonderful label called Sheffield Lab. And it happened because of the song, The Rose. They asked me to sing the harmonies to bet on the soundtrack for the film. And the man who played the piano was this wonderful guy named Lincoln Mayorga. And he and his partner, Doug Sachs, had created this amazing label. And he came up to me after the recording session and said, I'm going to record you. And I said, oh yeah, right, sure. And he said, no, seriously, I'm going to record you. And he took me to MGM Studios and he surrounded me with a complete live orchestra with the microphone and me right in the middle. And we cut a direct to disc album, which is the way they always used to do it, where you sang the entire side of the record, eight, nine, 10 songs, however many, without stopping. And then you would keep doing that over and over again until they got what they thought was the perfect take. And then they would quick grab what they called the mother and they'd put it in a padded pizza box and drive it out to the lab in Santa Monica and they'd, continue, they'd start stamping. And they could stamp about 100,000 copies before the mother was worn out. And then they had to take the second pass and then the third pass. And the sound quality when you do something like that is astounding. And actually, because of my first album, which was called Growing Up in Hollywood, all of these audiophile people with really expensive sound systems liked the quality of my voice. So I became the voice for KLH speakers and Sonus Weber speakers, and all these really expensive speakers. If you were in to buy equipment, they would play my recordings because my woofers or my tweeters or my mid-range is something that sounds really great on vinyl. And I be actually, my nickname became Our Lady of the High End. That's a long time ago. Since then, vinyl disappeared for a long time and CDs came in. And now, vinyl is making a reappearance. It seems to be the only area right now, the recording business, that is growing. CD sales are dropping, but vinyl is coming back up. And you can't hear anything better than on vinyl.